Hello and a very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Alex. Hope all is well with you. Are you looking forward to seeing Megan and Harry on their first official trip together outside of the US? It's going to be interesting. As you know, they are preparing to visit the Netherlands for the Invictus Games. It has now been confirmed since Monday that Megan will be travelling with Harry. Invictus runs from April 16th to the April 22nd. It has been stated that they will receive VIP status from the Dutch police, but will not be visiting or staying with the Dutch royal family, as would usually happen. Royal protocol if a royal was visiting the Netherlands from another country. It says here, Harry and Meghan will not be given an audience with Netherlands King Willem Alexander or be offered a room in the Royal Palace on Invictus Games visit but could be handed VIP status by Dutch police. So this is quite a big deal as this is the first official trip by both Meghan and Harry outside of the US since they split from the royal family. Of course, a lot of the press are making a big deal out of it, that the Dutch royalty have not offered them an opportunity to visit them. But this is all custom and tradition. Meghan and Harry are not working royals. They have parted ways with that world, and that's just the way it is. They don't need to follow their protocols. They are free to come and go as they please, and are not beholding to anyone. It says here, Harry and Meghan will not be given an audience with Netherlands King Willem Alexander or be offered a room in the royal palaces during their Invictus Games visit, but could be handed VIP status by Dutch police. The couple may have to be secured by their own team when they attend the event later this week in what will be Meghan's first trip to Europe since they quit as senior working royals more than two years ago. It is understood Harry and Meghan will not get an audience with King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima during their stay and will have to instead spend the night at a hotel in The Hague. Day Davies, a former royal protection officer, spoke on the subject of security for Meghan and Harry's trip to the Netherlands. The truth is, I have no doubt that he will be protected, whether he takes his own team or whether the Dutch authorities give him some kind of VIP status. The truth is, there's a risk both countries, ours and the Netherlands, have sophisticated systems of determining risk. The country has determined he is no longer at risk. That may or may not be true, but people far better qualified than I am now can make that decision and they never make it lightly. It is very clear that Harry believes visiting the UK is far more dangerous than the Netherlands, and that's because of the toxic UK media and how they whip up hatred in their tabloids and TV shows for the couple and therefore any visit to the UK in the couple will become a toxic circus for the media to profit from, which also encourages those that are unhinged in society to possibly do something stupid. But of course, this former Royal Protection Officer won't admit to that because he has to play the game that the UK is a great place, etc, etc. The Sussexes are likely to be given full protection by the Dutch police, as the event will also play host to the King of the Netherlands, Willem Alexander, and his aunt, Princess Marguerite, honorary chair of the Recommendation Committee of the Invictus Games. A production crew from Netflix will be following the couple to record them for future as in a Netflix documentary. Megan is due to fly from Los Angeles on an overnight flight and arrive with Prince Harry on Friday, ahead of the opening ceremony of the Games on Saturday evening. It is understood that Meghan will be by her husband's side until Monday when she returns alone to their home 
in Montecito, California. Archie and Lilibet are not expected to attend. There are rumours that Harry may pop over to the UK to visit the Queen while he is in the Netherlands. Invictus runs from April 16th to 22, meaning the Prince could visit the Queen for her 96th birthday on the 21st. Police and security services in the Netherlands have refused to say whether he will get royal protection in Holland, although it is likely because one of the event's partners is the Dutch Ministry of Defence, which is also in charge of the country's security and terrorism. <laughs>